Last year, I created a video that unpacked 10 reasons why I thought rooting your phone was still worthwhile in 2020. Turns out, a lot of people wanted to see whether rooting your phone was still worth doing. Now, believe it or not, a lot can change in the rooting world in less than a year. And in fact, some of the apps and features that I showcased in that video no longer work. And so I thought it was about time to create an updated version. So without further ado, here are 10 more reasons to root your phone, 2021 style. And first up is YouTube Vanced. I've actually featured this app on my channel in the past, but if you've not heard of it, it is essentially a replacement for the stock YouTube app with a bunch of extra and downright amazing features. I'm not gonna unpack every single feature right here and now because there's way too many, but some of the highlights include swipe gesture controls, background playing even when your phone screen is off. You can also force the default resolution and set it to the max setting even if your display doesn't support it. Perhaps the best feature of all is, can't believe I'm about to say this, but it's the ad blocking. Now this feature obviously impacts the income us creators can earn from AdSense, but look, you can turn it off if you wanna support the creators you watch, so I'll leave that up to you. You're not gonna turn it off, are you? But speaking of ads, another fantastic application made better by having a rooted phone is called Adaway. So this ain't just for YouTube ads. This is a system-wide blocker of pretty much all ads on your phone. You can install a non-root version, but then it's just a VPN-based ad blocker, which is slower and comes the expense of using more of your phone's battery life. And so the root version is faster, way more battery friendly, and just overall more reliable. Again, I'm not really one for stopping people from earning money through showing ads on their websites or in their apps, but I will say some websites do take it way too far. So this is a solid root method for keeping the ad situation at bay. Now, Greenify is a super popular app designed to increase your phone's battery life, and you can actually download it on the Google Play Store, but if your phone is rooted, well, you can really maximize its potential. The app is basically a souped up version of the battery optimization feature that was introduced a few Android versions ago, but regardless of how much that feature has improved, there's still really no comparing how the root version of Greenify does it. In short, Greenify allows you to put any apps you don't need running in the background into a deep sleep or hibernation mode whenever they're not open. The end result, far better battery life. Now, along with that, if you're someone looking to preserve the health of your phone's battery life, then you might wanna look into using a root-only app called Battery Charge Limit. So over the past few years, Android phones have seen increasingly faster and faster charge speeds. And whilst this is excellent in the short term, the truth of the matter is that it can have negative impacts on the longevity of your phone's battery health. And so that's where battery charge limit comes into play. This app protects your phone's battery by limiting how high it can be charged to. Why is this something you might wanna do? Well, in short, the more that we charge our phones to the max, the worse their conditions become. And so by using battery charge limit, your phone will stop charging at a certain percentage and will only start again when the battery life reaches a certain threshold, which is also determined by you. Now, a lot of people were mentioning Viper for Android in the comment section of the last root video I made. And so I, of course, had to include it in this updated version. So Viper for Android or V4A as it's affectionately known is an app that essentially lets you tweak and control the EQ of the sound coming out of your phone, whether that be via the phone speakers or headphones you've got plugged in or even external devices that you've paired to. And the amount of control you have is seriously impressive. Everyone who uses V4A absolutely testifies to how vast the audio improvements can be when using this app. So could definitely be worth a go if your phone's rooted. Man, back in the day, Titanium Backup was the real MVP of root applications. And to be honest, it probably still is. So we should all no doubt have experience with backing up our phones, whether that be because we're extra cautious or because we're transferring to a new phone. But if you don't have experience with backing up your phone, well, you should probably get on that. But every backup service bar Titanium Backup is pretty limited. And so with Titanium Backup, you can back up everything. And I mean everything root system files, SMS files, absolutely everything. But then you can really customize the backups as well and pick and choose what you do and don't want backed up. And you can even automate backups and set up batch backups. The options are really endless. And particularly if you're involved in the root game, which can often lead to a bricked phone, this app is a must have. Now, another great feature of Titanium Backup and having a phone that is rooted for that matter is that you can remove bloatware on your phone and even system apps that are usually uninstallable. 
Now you've got to be super careful with this level of control because uninstalling the wrong app can cause catastrophic failure like boot loops, which ain't any fun whatsoever. But the cool thing is that Titanium Backup also lets you freeze apps, which is basically just a less dangerous version of uninstalling. They'll be hidden from your phone's app drawer and you won't be able to use them, but it's not gonna break your phone if you freeze the wrong app. Okay, so all Android phones obviously allow for some form of customization, but when you root your phone, you can seriously level up your customization game. So whether that be by installing a different system font or by changing your phone's emojis, or perhaps it might be switching up your phone's boot animation or modifying the design of your navigation bar. Whatever it might be, with root access, there's a good chance that you can get the job done. I'll link below to some cool customization apps that I think are worth checking out, but keep in mind, some apps don't work with certain phones or versions of Android. Now, a lot of people say that when your phone is rooted, it's more susceptible to issues related to privacy. And whilst that might be true, depending on the apps or modules that you're installing, if you use an app like Permission Ruler, you can actually enhance the privacy on your rooted phone. So with Permission Ruler, you can actually stop apps from using permissions as soon as your screen is off. This means that as long as your screen is off, no app can access your location or your phone's microphone or anything else for that matter. And this means that your phone is just about as safe and secure as it can be. As soon as your phone is back on, boom, the apps can function again as per usual. And that's the great part about this app. It just sits in the background and does its thing. Now, so far I've listed a bunch of apps or features that become unlocked after rooting your phone. But in all honesty, I think one of the biggest reasons to consider rooting your phone in 2021 is that it's just so darn easy. I've actually created two separate tutorials here on the channel, both of which still hold up today. But in short, the Magisk Manager application makes the rooting process so easy that the real question is, why shouldn't I root my phone in 2021? Actually, that could be an interesting topic for another video. But there it is. Those are 10 reasons why I think rooting your phone in 2021 is still something worth considering. Now, a few of the apps and features featured in today's video were actually taken from the comment section of the last rooting your phone video that I made. So definitely feel free to let us know of any other additional root only apps or features people should know about down in the comments below. But that's it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you later.